<laughs> Hi, welcome to Campfire Confidential, episode 20. We're coming to you from Elliot's Front Lounge. And the subject today is gratitude. Do you know what's weird? What's weird? Out of the last five days, we only slept in Elliot one day. That's right, and that was the day... No, that was in Kansas. Yeah. But right before that, yeah. we mooch docked in my brother's front driveway. Yeah, that was our idea, not his. But they provided us with a beautiful meal. It was just delicious. It was a Portuguese fish stew, big chunks of fish, and the best bread I think I've ever had. It was awesome. Yeah. And then we retreated to Elliot because we wanted to sleep in our own beds, and we wanted to get an early start the next day. So they weren't too uh, happy about us. Um, not sleeping under the roof and enjoying their hospitality, but um, but we had a lovely night because the wind was blowing in the pine trees and it was just the softest, nicest sound, and the temperatures were low, so it was really comfortable sleeping there. We were up early, back in for breakfast and coffee, so yeah. it's not like we didn't actually avail ourselves of their incredible hospitality. Oh no, we put the mooch in mooch docking, yeah, definitely. That's right. Yeah. And then you got um, you did like a 16-point turn. To get Elliot turned around and back out the driveway, which was pretty yeah. admirable. It was actually like six points. No mailboxes. Yeah. No casualties. <laughs> it was all good. Yeah. Yeah, so we want to say thank you to my sister and brother-in-law who hosted a huge family reunion over a couple of days. They threw out food and had everybody at their house. Um, we are We are in your debt for everything you do and we wanted to say thank you. You were superb hosts and um, we give you five stars. Five stars. Five stars. Five stars. <laughs> and, and we're still eating the food you gave us. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. And we also got a chance to spend time with a dear friend and some of his colleagues and their clients uh, last night for a little over an hour just to have a chat and talk about what I used to do and what mm -hmm. they were interested in and then we spent some time with him and one of his colleagues and his wife at dinner and we also want to say thank you to you for being such wonderful hosts and giving us such a great experience. And your hospitality was fantastic. We loved staying at your place. Um, best night of sleep I've had. I can't even remember how, <laughs> how long it's been. <laughs> I feel like the old uh, computer's been defragged and uh, the, the, the trash can's been emptied. <laughs> Mm. You know, speaking of wine, we had a pretty leisurely day yesterday. We actually got to visit uh, four wineries and two bison. Right, in the middle of nowhere. We came <laughs> upon <laughs> this herd. I, yeah, we were bison. driving along. I'm like, is that a bison up there? And sure enough, it was a pair of bison. Yep. And at one of the wineries, we, we met a really interesting lady named Paula and she showed us around the place and told us about its heritage. It is apparently one of the longest held wineries in the United States under one single family. I think they're in the sixth or seventh generation. The wine was fantastic. I sipped, she tasted. Um, he was, was driving, great. I was a passenger. Now here's the thing, we stopped at four wineries, we, I tasted at all of them and we now I believe are uh, legitimately uh, qualified as being bootleggers in some counties in the U.S. Shh. Yeah, don't tell anybody. <laughs> it's our little secret. <laughs> so we're hunkered down for the night after a relatively long day of driving in the rain almost all day, which means Elliot is as clean as he's been <laughs> since the day we pulled out of the driveway. But the truth is, we didn't. We got a late start today. We didn't leave our friend's house until noon. So. Um, so we did drive into dark, which is the first time we've driven yeah. in into darkness with Elliot. Um, and and just this is kind of the wrong time of year to be doing that because of the wild animals on the road. So we won't do that anymore if we can help it. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you all for watching. We're still, well, we're still enjoying your, your comments. Thank you.